Hi everybody, welcome to my full strength and stretch for dancers workout. I used to teach this class all the time on powhow.com and a lot of you used to take it and love it, but they since have shut down the website, so I thought I would do a full class here on YouTube so you guys can do it whenever you want. I've also linked timestamps in the box below of the different exercises, different muscle groups. So if on a day you don't want to do the whole thing, you can jump around, do abs, arms, and the stretch or legs, abs, and the stretch, whatever you want to do, it's all in the box below. All you're going to need is a yoga mat and a comfy surface, a TheraBand, and weights if you have them. They're not necessary. I just moved and cannot find mine, so I'm doing the workout with no weights. But one to three pound weights are uh, great for the best results for your arms. So feel free to play your own music in the background. I have not included the music in this workout. Be sure and turn on your bell notification so you make sure you don't miss a single video. Uh, and let's get started. So starting in parallel, shoulders open, relax, big inhale and release. Good, big inhale and release. And last one, grabbing onto the left wrist up and over to the right. It's reverse for me, so I have to think about it. <laughs> Good, coming back up, grab onto the right wrist, up and over to the left. Stretch and breathe. Lengthen up tall, release the arms, roll those shoulders, make sure that neck is relaxed. Let's stretch over to the right, right ear to right shoulder. If you want, you can give it a slight little pull, gently. And then look at the floor, different neck stretch. Good, and then coming back up, up and over to the other side. See, I think I've already messed up. This should be your right ear to right shoulder. It's my left ear to left shoulder. So just whichever side, you guys know this. Hard to do the mirror image though. And looking at the floor. Good, step the feet parallel, bend the knees, let's arch the back. And curl the back, and again. Arch the back, warming up the spine, so important. Curl, and again, arch, and curl. Last one, arch, and curl, slowly roll it up. Step your feet really wide now. Let's just get those hamstrings going. So just hinge at the hips slightly, putting the hands on the floor. Nothing big yet, that comes later. And just bend the knees and stretch. And bend, still warming up, and stretch. One more, bend, and stretch. And then just fold over, gentle, gentle, gentle. This is a built-in warm-up so that if you're not warm, you can go ahead and do this. If you are warm, you can skip ahead to the leg portion. So coming up, let's do a tiny bit of yoga to get you going. So turn one toe out facing front, other toes parallel, coming up. Reaching long, this is warrior one. Hips trying to be square, relax those shoulders. Straighten the leg and bend. Actively warming up, straighten and bend. Straighten and bend and just hold. Push down through those front toes. Really, really lengthen long. Good, the more you press into those feet, the faster your legs are gonna get warm. Let's open up to warrior two, same thing. Straighten the leg and bend and straighten and bend and straighten. Bend and hold, again, actively pressing down into both feet, breathing. Reach those fingertips, give them a little bit of a wiggle, make sure they're awake. And then let's do elbow to bent knee up and over, getting that side warm, breathing. Try not to drop into that shoulder, lift up out of that shoulder. Good. And then let's reverse it. Straight arm to straight leg. Reverse warrior up and over. Getting that side to warm up. Good. Again, try not to come up too high. Keep that knee bent. It'll warm you up faster. Also build strength in your legs. Coming up to straight. Now straighten the leg. Hinge at the hips. Triangle pose. Grab onto your shin, your ankle, the floor, wherever you can. Reaching that arm way up to the ceiling. Again, trying not to jam into that bottom shoulder. Breathing. Good. Press down through the feet to come up. Switch to the other side. Front toes parallel, back 
toes to me, both arms up, bend that front knee and hold, and breathe. Good. Shoulders square. Make sure they're not up like this. Hi, Mom. No, down. Breathing, and then straighten the front leg, and bend, and straighten, and bend, actively pressing that heel into the floor. Good, one more, and just hold. Want to make sure you guys are nice and warm so nobody gets injured opening up. Warrior two, same thing, sink down and then press that heel into the floor, and down, and press, and down, and press, and down. Good, last one and hold. Wiggle those fingers, wake them up. I know this is a long workout, guys. Don't feel like you have to do it all at once. Again, times are in the box below. You can skip around. Elbow to knee, up and over, out of that shoulder, not jamming. Lift. Or if you're feeling it, you want to do the whole thing, you can do it a couple times a week. That works too. Reverse, straight arm to straight leg, way up and over. Good. Reaching, 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 coming back up. Now straighten the, lean, straighten the knee, hinge at the hips. You might get a hip pop if you do, lucky you. Reaching up long in a triangle pose, still actively pressing those feet into the floor. Good. Now press down through the feet to come up, turn them parallel, walk them in. We're gonna just do a couple knee marches to get everything awake, so just up and up. Thinking about crunching those abs already. Nothing big. Good, two more. Last one, big inhale up and exhale. Okay, so now for our standing leg work. We're gonna start in a mini first position. Some of you have done this with me before in other videos. Mini releve, not too high. Keep those heels glued together, shoulders relaxed. We're just gonna bend and straighten. Staying on demi point. This is gonna work on control and stability and ankle strength and calf strength. It kind of just gets it all. And up, and down, and up. You focus on the muscles, let me do the counting. Down and up, keep going. Down and up. Abs are in. Two more like this. Good, now we're gonna go a little faster and come halfway up. Down halfway, down halfway, down halfway. You should be feeling this everywhere. This is really good for dancers because it's stabilizing through the ankle. We're not pounding into the floor. Right, down halfway, down halfway. Four, three, two, one, hold. Hold for a minute, ah, feel the burn. Just pulse, pulse, without losing your balance like I just did. Pulse, pulse, shoulders relax. Put it all the work in your legs. Take it out of your upper body. Good, and again, keep breathing. Glue those heels together. You should start to get warm now. Last four, three, two, one, and hold. Stay where you are, close your eyes. Do you remember that trick? For those of you that have taken this before, find that balance, release. Good, same exact thing parallel. Make sure your knees track straight. Mini releve, not all the way up. Down and up, and down and up. Make sure you're not doing this or this, okay? Parallel knees, down and up. Not a very high releve, that's a different muscle. We'll get there in a second. And up and again, down and up. Nice straight posture, good. Down, whoops, and up. four more. Hello balance, someone needs to work on that. Two, one, now just halfway up and down. Halfway up, halfway up and down. Good. Small little pulses. It's a little bit different than we did in first, but that's okay. You're working the same muscles. Good. Three, two, one. Stay down and now faster pulses. Down and down. All five toes, make sure you're not rolling. Down and down. Good. Hello quads. <laughs> and down and down. Ugh. Quads balance. Ankle. Last eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Find your balance, close your eyes, and release. Okay, back to the mini first position, calf time. Sorry in advance. We're gonna do plie up to bent knees. Plie 
up to bent knees. And this might be weird as dancers, but it's a, it's a control thing. You should feel in your ankles that like landing, that's what we want. And down, and up, and down, and up, down. Again, make sure those ankles are tracking straight. Good, four, three, two, one. Now normal releve, plie all the way up, plie all the way up. Watch those landings, don't crash, and up, controlled, and up. That's how you're gonna get really strong ankles for point work. Good, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, not done yet. Stay up, straight leg, down and up. Doesn't have to be perfect first position at all. That's not the point. The point is we're building strength in the calves. And down and up and down and up. Good. Last four, three, two, one. Come up and hold. Close your eyes. Ah, hello. And down. Guess what? Same thing parallel, different muscle. Plie up. Plie, we're keeping the knees bent for now. Plie and up. Plie and up. Try not to keep rocking. Stay right where you are. That takes more control. And down and up. Good. Up, down and up, down and up. Four more like this. Three, two, one. Normal releve. Down, up, down and up. See, you never really do this in ballet. If you do some releves, it's like eight at the most. So we're not gonna do that, we're gonna do more. Again, you might have done this in other workouts. Keep going with me, down and up. This is the updated latest and greatest. Four more, four, three. How those calves doing? Try and hang in there, straight leg. Down and up and down and up. Here's where, stay in one spot. Don't shift, right? Down and up, down and up, good. Last four, three, two, one, and hold. Close your eyes. Hello. And release. Good. Give those calves a stretch for a minute. You do that a couple times a week or even every day safely like that, you're going to be a beast. You're going to have so much control, so much jump control. It's going to be great. Okay. Now a little more hip stability. So starting on one leg, start on your, right, your left leg, right leg up. Turn it out. Turn it in, turn it out, turn it in. This is hard now because we just worked all those calf and stability muscles. They're already gonna be tired. So do your best, all five toes on the floor, turn it out, whoops, turn it in, and out, and out. Good, keep going, this is hard. Four, but it's so good for you, especially for adagio. Last two, last one, come back to center. Yep, close your eyes. Uh-huh, and release, good, other side. Turn it in, out, and in. It will really help if you think of pressing the bunion of your big toe into the floor. And out, and in. Again, I'm counting, don't worry about it. You just focus on your muscles. Miraculously, I can count and talk at the same time. <laughs> Keep going and in. Lift up out of the hip, like you're doing a pirouette. Good, four more. Four, three, two, one. Come back to center, hold. Close your eyes. Press that bunion in, whoops. And release, good. Back to the first side. We're gonna do attitude and in, turned in attitude, attitude, and in. And attitude, in, and attitude, and in. I have to do it this way so I don't kick the wall. Attitude, and in, and attitude, and in. Try not to hunch the shoulders, keep going. Bunion of the big toe, presses in the floor. Good, we're gonna do a big long stretch at the end, so don't panic 
If you're tight, we'll get that. Three, two, one, back to center. Guess what? Last time, close the eyes. Makes such a difference. Ooh, that was awful. <laughs> back, last side. So we do attitude and in. Again, all five toes pressing. I'm losing my mic here and in, which is my phone, if anybody's curious. And out and in. Stability through the hip. Again, keeping it parallel because we do enough turnout as dancers that it's good to sometimes work in neutral. Good, you'll have one side that's better than the other, obviously. Four more. And three. And two. Doesn't have to be high. Come in and hold, find your balance, close your eyes. Woohoo! And release. Okay, shake out the legs for a minute. We're gonna leave the legs. If you have your weights, get them now. If not, you're like me, just make fists. So one to three pounds is good. That's really all you need. Stand in a neutral position, turn the legs off, because we're gonna go back to them in a minute. Let's do port de bra with weights. So we do front, side, and down. First, second, and down. First, second, and down. First, second, and again. Make sure we're not doing this, yeah? And not this. Neutral spine, second, and down. I really wish I could find my weights. I don't know where they are. I had them. Last one like this. <laughs> Reverse. But it's good to feel the port bra too. Down. If you're a newbie, you can totally do it without weights. Just use your own resistance. I'm still feeling it because I'm resisting. And down. And second. First. We've done this many a time in many a video, but it's still really good to do. Second. First. Second. First. Fifth. Fifth, second, down. Don't pop the ribs. Second, down. Fifth, second, down. Again, if you have no weights, maybe do porter bar with resistance. Use those back muscles. The weights really help you feel your back, which is the whole point. And down two more. Good. Last one. And reverse. Second, fifth, and second fifth, and second, fifth, good, second, fifth, keep breathing, fifth, shoulders down, don't pop the ribs, especially when you go up to fifth, two more like this, second, fifth, last one, second, fifth, down, good, roll the shoulders, if you have weights, put them down for a second, feel how light your port bra is now, those are the muscles I want you to start using for port bra Pick them back up or not, out to second. Just press back, press back. If, you're, if your arms are done, put them down. Press back, press back. We're just doing this, back and back. Press back and back. Good. Back and back, back and back. Hold, release. Let's just do biceps, up and down. It's good for even females to do a couple of biceps, totally fine especially even with, without weights. Even though I don't have weights, I'm really resisting. Uh, my muscles are working. So you have options. Good. Let's do one arm. Change and change. Change and change. Change, change. Good. Keep breathing. Change, change. Try and keep your elbows in, not out here. In, in, in. Change the bicep out and in and out. And in. again, feel free to put the weights down at any point. Build up to this. You can take breaks. Maybe start with one pound. Maybe then two pounds. And singles, singles, singles. Again, keeping the elbows in, focusing on the bicep. Good. Breathing. Breathing. Four, three, two, one. One, good release, roll the shoulders. Last thing, triceps, we've done this before. Slight hinge in the hips, squeeze the elbows together, out and in, and out and in, and out and in. Focusing on that tricep, so you're working the muscle you want to work. Squeeze, if you don't have weights, maybe put the palms up, that helps. Out and in, and out 
and in. See, you don't even need weights to work hard. That's not an excuse, guys. Four, sorry, three, <laughs> two, one. Hold it and just lift, 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 lift. Good. Focusing on the triceps. Lift, lift, lift. Doing great. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Roll the shoulders. Put the weights down. You're done with arms. One arm across. Breathing. Good. Effective. Very, very effective. Arm back. Getting into that tricep. Ooh, I haven't done that in a while. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and other arm across. Breathing. Good. And up and over to the back. Roll the shoulders. Great job. Let's come down to the mat. So coming down to the mat, we're going to do a little more hip work. So come to all fours in a neutral spine, not arched, not curled, neutral. Take one leg back and the other arm forward. So opposite arm forward, just going to balance for a second. Make sure you're not locking into the elbow. Use those abs. You can either leave the hand out or put it back down, but for a challenge, leave it up. We're just going to go in and out. This forces you to use your abs. In and out and in and out and in and out instead of just here you have to use your abs good keep going breathe in and out good four more like this four three two one now put it down we're going to do what we did in another video cross up side attitude cross up side attitude cross up side attitude you should be feeling this in the supporting hip also good cross up side attitude cross up side attitude two more like this uh-huh good come back out come down to your elbows flex the foot down and up down and up the key with this though guys it's going to be hard is you want to keep your hips square try not to open i know it's tempting as a dancer but we're trying to work different muscles so keep it square down and up down and up good pressing the ceiling away four more four three two one, we're gonna hold it up and just pulse, pulse, try and keep it square. Good, this is for your jumps, using your seat, good. And press, 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 press. Last set, four, three, two, one. Good, sit back on your heels for a second, give those hips a stretch. Hello, good morning. Now we get to the other side, I'm gonna flip around. So, starting off, opposite arm is leg, find the balance for a second. Try not to lock into the elbow. Keep the hip square. This is arabesque. Keep it square. In and out. If you're really creative, you can always do this too. Bringing the elbow in. But it's actually sometimes harder to leave it out. Believe it or not. In and out. In and out. Using the abs. Using all your stability muscles. Good. Last four, three, two, one. Good. Now put the arm down. Cross and up and side attitude. Cross and side. Cross, side, cross, side. And again, cross and side. Good. Two more. Cross, side, cross, side, and hold. Come down to your elbows. Turn that hip in. Flex the foot. Press it up and down and up and down. Good. I know that turn in feels weird, but it's a muscle we need to work. And like I said, we're going to stretch at the end. Don't panic. And up and again. Up and up. 
and up. Good. Four more. Three. Two. One and hold. Just stamp the ceiling. Up, 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 up. Hip square. Breathe. Use your abs. Up, up, up. Keep going. Doing great. Almost there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Sit back on your heels and release. Just hold. So now we're going to do our side leg series. So flipping around, lining up with your mat, feet in the front, you're in the back. I like to keep my hand off the whole time for a nice challenge. You don't have to. You can always place it here. But for now, we're going to lift it up. So starting with our little circles, parallel hip again, working this muscle, just circle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knees. Do you remember this one? Head on the floor. Bring the knees slightly in front of you. Feet and shins off for turnout. Open and close. And open and close. Hello, turnout. And open and close. Good. And open. Open. Feeling it up here. Good. And again. Open. And open. Open. Good. Last four. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Come back to your extended position. Hand behind the head. We're going to point it up. Flex it down. And up, flex it down. Reaching through the heel, up and down. Up. That's why I like the arms off because it forces you to stabilize with your core. Good, two more. Now reverse, flex it up. Flex it up, reach down. And up, reach down. And up, reach down. Good. And up. Good. Extending out. Grab onto the wrist as you're in fifth position. Double pay up and down. And up and down. All the way up. Down. Good. One more like this. Now reverse envelope. So straight leg up. Leave the knee and down. Up, leave the knee. Good. Up. And up. One more. Good. Come back to your neutral position. Hands behind the head. Everybody doesn't like this one, so you might have to use your arm. Kick it front. Bend it in. Extend to the back. Not dropping. Front and in and back. Front and in and back front and in and back and reverse back bend it in use your abs back bend it in use your abs two more like this good last one and release so bend the top knee now we're going to work the inner thighs we've done this before too we're going to do low medium high come down here we go low medium high low medium high low medium high low medium high and again up 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 if you get real ambitious and you get stronger put on ankle weights uh-huh circles one two three four five six seven eight nine reverse and one two heel on top if you can six seven eight nine tech flex ten flex the foot bend the knee bend stretch bend stretch Good, trying to keep the heel on top. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Good, doing great. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Now point the foot and just lift, 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 lift. Good, beat, beat, beat. There's your petite allegro. Heel on top. Good. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, bend the knee. Give that hip a stretch. and release good all right you got two legs so we got to flip around 
to the other side. Starting with hands behind the head if you can. We're gonna do those 10 little parallel circles just to keep the hip in line. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. Trying to keep everything still, harder than it looks. Nine, ten. Head comes down, bend the knees, bring them slightly in front of you, feet and chins off. Here we go, turn out. Open and close. Open and close. Hip pop. Open, close. Open and close. Good. And open. Open. Keep breathing. Find those turnout muscles. Turnout is nothing if you cannot hold it. I don't care how bendy you are. You've got to be able to hold it. Last four, four, three, two, one. Good. Come back. Hands behind the head. Find that position, point it up, flex it down, and up, and up, reach. Think of lengthening through the heel each time. Good, and reverse. Flex it up, lengthen out, flex it up, lengthen out. Use those abs to stabilize. Four more, four, three, two, one. Good. Grab your wrist like you're standing in fifth position. Développe. And down. Développe. And down. And up. Trying to lengthen out. Good. Ooh. Hip crack again. One more like this. <laughs> Good. And reverse. Up. In. And down. Up. In. And down. Good. Up, in, and down. Let's do one more. Good. And coming back, everybody's favorite, not really, kick in front, bend it in, stretch back. I can't go very far because of the wall. One, two, and back. And one, two, and back. Again, you might have to use your hand, that's okay. One more. Good, you'll get the stability where you don't need to, and reverse, back, bend it in, and front. Even if your arabesque is small for now, that's fine too. Front the same, if you have to go low, that's fine. I'd rather see it lower with good form than try and get it up just to get it up. That sounds like something else. Oh, I don't know, ballet? <laughs> good, let's work the inner thigh now. Here we go, low, medium, high to start. Low, medium, high. Low, medium, high. Low, medium, high. And low, medium, high. And again. Low, medium, high. Low, medium, high. Good. Medium, high. And 10 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reverse. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flex the foot, bend the knee. And one. Two, three, heel on top if you can. Good. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Good. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Good. And point the foot and lift, 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 lift. Good. Heel on top. There are your beats. Heel on top. Good. And lift, 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 lift. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bend the knee. Stretch out the hip. Maybe you'll get a back crack. That would be nice. Good. And then come up to sitting. So now we're going to do our ab work. Last thing before we stretch and do feet. So flipping around, let's start with just getting those abs warm. So let's keep the hands behind the thighs and just down and up and down and up. Getting them going. They should already be fairly warm though, considering everything we just did. Now let go. And down and up. And down and up. Try not to do this. Hey, mom. No. <laughs> and up. Couple more. Good. Abs are my least favorite thing, so I sympathize. Two more like this. Good. Now, leaving the knees bent, we're going to go all the way back. Down and back and reaching up. Use those abs. Back, reaching up. And down and back. Good. 
and down. Back, couple more. And down, back, up. Feel like you're pulling a bar and then pushing it away. That helps, two more. Down, back, and up. Last one. Good. Now we're gonna do our Pilates five. So rolling down, knees into the chest. Option to use a pillow under your hips, if that helps you. One knee in, one knee out, switch. Switch, switch, switch and switch. Good. Navel into the spine. Try not to use your arms too much. Switch and switch. Good. Four, three, two, one. Keep your head up if you can. Both legs in and arms out. And in and out and in. Don't go any lower than you can without keeping your back neutral. We don't want to arch. Mm-hmm. Breathing. Good. Two more like this. Last one. Stay up if you can. If not, rest, come back up. Scissors. Switch, switch, and switch. Maybe don't use the arms. So you're using your abs. We don't want to use arm momentum, we want to use core. Switch, switch, good. Switch and switch. Doesn't have to be beautifully pointed and straight legged, that's not the point. Four, three, doing great. Good, and release. Now you can put your head down, put your hands under your lower back. Maybe the lowest part of your spine. We're gonna lower the legs and come back up. Actually, let's turn off the knees, turn off the feet. Don't straighten the knees, don't point the feet, just the abs. And up, and down, and up. Good, if you turn on the legs, sometimes the abs don't work. Down, and up, two more like this. Good. Last one. Come back up, last thing, hands behind the head, Opposite elbow to knee, one, two, hold for two counts. One, two, hold for two counts. One, and two. Good. One, and two. One, two, good. Two more. Last one. Good, and release. Hug the knees into the chest. Great. Flip over, let's do a little mini arabesque work to balance all of this out. So, hands underneath the chin. All we're gonna do, this is not about height. I don't wanna touch my mic so I can't go all the way down, but you're all the way down. So lift the legs and down. And up and down. And up and down. Up and down. Good. Just about lengthening, not about height. Good, now we do the upper body. Lengthen, come down. Doesn't have to be high. Up. And up. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Everything up and just reach out and hold. Reach, reach, reach. Lengthen as far as you can. Maybe start a little swimming. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Swim, 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 swim. Good. Last four, three, two, one. Reach, lengthen, 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 and come down, push back into child's pose. Good. Okay, last ab thing. We're gonna hold plank for a minute. So, you can either go up to your here, up to your um, hands and feet. You can do knees. I like doing elbows. So I'm gonna watch the clock. So come to a plank position, and we're gonna hold for a minute. Ready? Here we go, hold. Abs are in tight. Shoulders are lengthening. Breathing. Lift up out of those hip flexors. Don't jam those hip flexors up and out of the shoulders. Hard to talk and do this, FYI, <laughs> in case you were wondering. Keep holding. Doing great. 
reading. Use those apps. Halfway there. Halfway. You've already done it, so you can do it again. Keep holding. Holding. Breathing. Use that core to support you. I know we've done a lot already. Good. Ten more seconds. You can do this. Come on, you can do this. Breathing. Press through those heels. Use those abs. And finish. Good. Sit back up on uh, sit back on your heels. And release. Okay, so grab your TheraBand. Now we're going to work your feet. Um, I like adding this into this workout so you get everything in. You've probably done some of these exercises on here with me before, but this is just a quick fire round. So around the toes, bend the knee. I like bending the knee first so the quads don't take over. We just want to use the feet. So curl and up. Just the toes. Those are those muscles for pointing those shoes, ladies. And curl, and curl, and curl, and curl. And again. I recommend starting with a lighter TheraBand and building up to a heavier one. That way you can see your progress. Two more. Now we're going to hold the curl and just tap and up, and tap and up, and tap and up, and tap and up. You're going to feel maybe some shaking back in that Achilles. That's good. Tap and up. This is for ankle stability. All those hops on point. Good for guys too, for stability. Three, two, one. Now, curl the toes down and up. I'm sorry, flex them down, curl them up. Isolating, getting in those metatarsals. Down and up. And down and up. And down and up, two more. Good. And reverse. Curl down and up. If you want, if you do this ex this video a lot and you jump around with abs and arms, you can always do the feet. I would always do the feet, especially ladies. Down and up. You can never do this too much. <laughs> down and up. Daily is good. And that's enough. So straighten out. Classic point and flex. You've been doing this with me since year one on YouTube. Down and up and down. Go back and look at those fuzzy grained videos. Oh, gotta love it with bad sound. And up and down. How far we've come. And down and up in many ways. Down and up. Last one. Good. Hold it. This is the hard one. Just the toes. Toes, 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 toes. I need to do this more often. Toes, 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 toes. Good. And just hold that stretch. I've actually had to film this three times, so my feet are a little bit tired. Because one time the card didn't work, second time it was blurry, and so now I'm on my third set. So I'm going to have nice strong feet. Other side. Um, okay, wrapping around. So we have just the toes. Toes and up. And toes and up. And toes and up. Toes and up. Toes and toes. Toes and toes. And again, toes. Toes, 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 four more, three, two, one, and hold, tap, and tap, and tap, and tap, and tap. Again, you might feel that shaking. That's good. You're stabilizing. That's why we're keeping the knee bent. See, this is why you don't want that quad to take over. You want just the ankle to work. Now, flex the toes down, curl, and up, and down, curl, and up. And down, curl, and up. Down, curl, and up. And again. Good. Down, curl, and up. And reverse. Curl down, flex up. Curl down, flex up. Getting into those metatarsals. And four. Three sirens are going by right now. It's very annoying. I don't know if you, the mic's picking them up. Okay. And stretch it out. Point and flex, and point and flex, and point and flex, and point. Yeah, dancers, I highly recommend you do some sort of feet exercises every day. And before class is the perfect time to do them. You know what I mean? So you kind of get them in. Hold it, just toes. Toes, 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 toes. That way you never miss it. And hold, stretch. Good. All right, that's it for the workout. Let's stretch now.
Okay, so flip around. This is my classic stretch. I have this on here in a big long video if you want to jump to that one, but this is basically the same thing, just a little bit shorter. So rolling down, one knee into your chest and stretch it up. Either keep this knee bent or straighten it out. And then gently push into the leg, I mean into the arms with your leg. Push, push, push. And pull, should go a little bit farther. And again, push into the arms and release it. Good, one more time, push into those arms with that hamstring and just hold. Maybe stretch out that bottom leg if you haven't already. Think of arching your back here. It will really get into your hamstrings. That really helps. Relax the shoulders. Try and keep both hips square. Now we're gonna bring it across the body, keeping that hip down, getting into that outside IT band and hip area. Different part of the leg. Good. And then opening out to the side like a devil pay second, but don't let the supporting hip come up. Try and keep it down. You wanna stretch how you wanna be. So like this doesn't work. So come back to the center and just hold it for another couple of seconds. Gently pull it in towards you. Again, think of arching that back. That really helps. And release, good. Other side. I like to start with my knee bent and then stretch it out. So push into the hands, push, 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 use that hamstring, release it, pull it towards you, should go a little farther. And again, push into the hamstrings, push, push, I mean into the arms with the hamstrings, hello English. Pull it towards you, last time push into the arms and release, maybe stretch out the bottom leg. Arching the back slightly, getting into those hamstrings. Again, we want a straight back on our devil pay front. We don't want a rounded back. So try and stretch how you want to be. And then across the body, getting into that outer hip. Hello, IT bands. Good. And then opening out to that second position, trying to keep the opposite hip on the floor. Back to the center. One final hold here. Good, first side, foot to knee, bring the legs towards you. Again, trying to keep that back arch, that will help getting into that outer hip. Pull the legs however you can into you and just hold. Some people like to grab under, some people like to grab around. I just like to hold my knee and press the other one out and keep my back arched and that really works. Just breathing. We worked all those turnout muscles, so this is really important. And other side, switch, pull it into you. Another way you can feel it is if you pull uh, this knee into your shoulder, the same shoulder, that kind of really gets into that hip. So line it up with your shoulders. All right, both legs up. We gotta do our straddle, so I have to move. So opening out to the side. Gently pressing those legs down. You can use the wall. I don't exactly recommend it. I like being in control. And just breathing wherever you have a tight spot, feel like you're breathing into it. That some sort of mental trick that helps you relax. Big inhale and exhale. Let that gravity take over. Good. And then using your hands, so we don't rip anything, push your legs together, rock up to sitting. Let's do our hip opener. So one leg on top of the other and hinging forward. Again, rounding doesn't do much. Keep that back arched. You'll feel it more on your hips. I like to go about halfway. That's better for me. Some people like all the way. Just maneuver around till you find a spot and just hold it. Good, coming back to center, think more of an Indian style cross-legged position. Whatever leg's on top, that arm goes up, we go the other way. This is one of my favorites. And then push that top leg away, maybe even twist, you should feel it in your waistband. I literally cannot take class without this stretch because I'm very short-waisted. If any of you are short-waisted like me, you know my pain, I get real tight up here because there's not a lot of room to do arabesque and stuff, so this gets really tight. So this is good to do. 
And let's do the other side. So first, cross those legs, sitting up nice and tall, hinging forward. Again, always you have one leg better than the other. Welcome to ballet. <laughs> Welcome to life, really. Good. And then more of an Indian style, whatever leg is on top, that arm goes up, we go the other way. That's just how I like to get into it. And then you can take that arm and push that knee the other direction, maybe even twist those shoulders, maneuvering around till you find a spot. And just hold. Good, coming up, if you wanna stretch your inner thighs, keep your legs towards you. If you wanna do more of outer hip like me, I'm doing double attitude front, so elongated, sitting up nice and tall, hinging forward, using your elbows to push those knees down if you can. This really gets into those outer hips. Feel free to crack your knuckles as you go. <laughs> uh, and just hold. Again, this is all in that separate strength, uh, stretch video if you wanna ever do that. I did it a couple years ago now but it's basically the same. So while we're here, opening out to your straddle, maybe you'll get a hip pop or two. Let's go one direction. Now your side should feel a little bit more open since we did that other side stretch first. Good, feel like your legs going one direction, your arms going to the other, get that pull in that hip socket. Good, and let's go the other direction. One leg going one way, other arm going the other way. Good. And coming back up to sitting. I'm gonna flip around, but both legs together. Now this is where we turn off the legs entirely. Let them relax. What we're gonna do is tuck the chin in around the back, and you're just gonna feel that between your shoulder blades. And just hold. Let gravity take over. Now very slowly sit up, very, very slowly. Now we go forward, grab onto those feet if you can, keeping the back straight. Now you should feel it more in your legs so your back is not taking over. So that's what I like to do before I do this stretch because sometimes we do this and then your back gets it and not your legs. So let the legs get it. Good, and then sitting up nice and tall. Okay, so let's move into our split series. You guys have done this with me before. So what we do is we bring one leg forward. If this is your thing, great, stay there. If not, you can go all the way forward, up and off the kneecap, stretching, getting that hip flexor. Remember, we're breaking down our split into hip flexor, quad, and hamstring. If you don't have your split, that's how you can get there. So option two, either stay there or lift the back leg off, grab it with the opposite arm. This is totally optional. Some people just are not structurally built for this one. That's totally fine. Good, and now hinging back, stretch the front leg. Again, trying to keep the back arch. Not here, this is not gonna do anything. Keep that back arched. Dig that heel and maybe turn the foot out a little bit. Send the hips away from you. We're getting into the hamstring. And then if you can, slide out into the split. Hip, flexor, quad, hamstring. That's how you get your split. And remember on this too, not here. No, here, there's your soda shop, right? Squared hips. Nice and lifted. Good. Let's do the other side. I'm going to flip. So all fours to start. One leg forward, either staying up tall or coming forward up and off the kneecap. And breathe. Option step two, back leg comes off, opposite arm off the floor. Grabbing it. Well, obviously it's off the floor. Duh, Katie. <laughs> Hello. Good breathing. And then releasing it, hinging back, stretching that front leg out. Good. 
keeping the back straight, setting the hips away from you. And then if you can, sliding out into your split, squaring off those shoulders, squaring off those hips. Coming back to all fours, let's do a little bit of an arch and curl to get that back going. So arch and curl and arched and curl. From here, this is my favorite stretch ever. Demi point on the back toes. Going into child's pose, stay on demi point. Use your arms to push you back and you will really feel that stretch in your toes. So important because we point all the time. We've got to stretch the opposite way. So now coming to a crouched position, you should be able to lift your arms off. That's how far back you are. This is for your Achilles. So just let gravity take over. Let the head hang. And just hold for a minute. Good, push down into the feet, step back to downward facing dog. So you're making a big V. One knee bends, one knee stretches. So you're getting the Achilles in one foot, calf in the other, and switch. And switch. My mat is squeaky. <laughs> Keep going at your own pace. Good, and both heels down. Now, both heels down, walk your feet into your hands, and just hold. Let's hang out here a minute. Good, slowly bend those knees, rolling up. I'm gonna sit down because I'm out of frame, but that's it, you did it. Fantastic job, you guys, that was amazing. Again, like I said, we did everything in there. You don't have to do everything every day. If you wanna jump around, those times are in the box below or do the whole thing several times a week. Entirely up to you guys. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment as to what other workouts you might want to see. Um, I know you guys do like these videos, so let me know in the comments below. If you missed my recent performance of Romeo and Juliet with Sean Rolfson and the commentary on that video, it's down there, you can click it to watch. Love you guys so, so much. Hope you're doing well and I will see you next time.